I joined on the Reverend P.A. Green, and I've been here ever since. I joined around 1940-something. We could walk to church. I lived, uh, we lived on 12th Street between 12th and Riceboro Road, and we would walk down 12th Street sometime, and sometime we'd cut through our backyard and come through the um, Pickett Avenue to church, but we would walk to church day or night, and we didn't have any worry about walking. I remember when I first came here, we had service uh, sort of like the old time way, you know, him, the choir, and we didn't have, at first we didn't even have a piano, I don't recall. And uh, later we got a piano and my mother and my aunt used to sing in the gospel choir. Uh, and I think Deacon J. H. Youngblood would, was the uh, president of that gospel choir back then. Uh, we had various auxiliaries, and the, one of the auxiliaries I remember was the uh, Women in Action. It was when we got to be young adult then. And we were really a strong ministry of the church, and we were just like sisters. What affected one affected all. And uh, I remember uh, Ms. Mary Warren and Ms. Mary Wiley and Ms. Lula Bush and, and on down the line were members of that ministry. And uh, uh, we just cherished each other and loved each other so much. When I look around in the church, there's so many that are not here. But Green Grove is still here. And we still have a lot of members, or uh, a few like you and I still here. Of course, we're not that old, but we're not that young either. <laughs> but uh, it, it's just a, a pleasure for me to think about it. the Lord who brought me this far, you know? I've been here under about eight pastors and I'm just grateful.